Stark County teacher says she was forced to resign for declining to put religious beliefs aside. A former teacher is now suing the Jackson local school district after she said district officials forced her to resign when she refused to participate in a social transition of students. According to a federal lawsuit filed by the attorneys for Vivian Garofati, the school district required teachers to use a student's preferred names and pronouns. Oh boy. Her attorneys with the Alliance Defending Freedom said Vivian sincerely held religious beliefs and scientific understanding govern her view that a person is a male or female based on sex, not personal identity, and participating in a student's social transitions violates those beliefs by forcing her to communicate the message she believes are untrue and harmful to the students. Now Vivian, who taught English at Jackson Memorial Middle School in Maslin, she resigned in August. The Jackson Local School District is aware of this lawsuit. This district will always strive to provide a safe, comfortable environment for all of our nearly 6,000 students in which to learn. We have engaged legal counsel and we will have no further comment on pending litigations. My question is, why is there so much emphasis on promoting sexuality to kids as opposed to preparing them for their future? Now, you can identify as a bird if you want, but what do you really want to be when you grow up? What is going to determine, what is going to be the determining factor if you're going to be a productive citizen in society or not? I want to see them try that social transition shit at, at Canton City Schools. It's going to be 12 students in the whole district. But tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that social transitioning should be taught in schools? The pronouns? Tell me what you think.